so I mentioned in uh, the last video that I talked a little bit about the treatment that we use, uh, the homemade honey be healthy treatment that we use, and uh, what our process is like for making up sugar syrup. So since I need to do both of those things, I'm just going to create one video. Uh, I need to make uh, the honey be healthy, uh, the homemade version of that first. And this is a formula that is a version of uh, Fat Bee Man's. Um, homemade formula and then uh, we'll get into what I do for creating um, our sugar syrup here in just a little bit. So first I have a cup of water in this little blender here. This is a old blender that honestly it leaks a little bit and is pretty beat up so uh, I recommend definitely using one that has a glass uh, pitcher. Uh, because some of these oils are pretty serious. Um, so first we have some tea tree oil and uh, we just use a teaspoon of this. These are not exact scientific measurements but a um, teaspoon of that and uh, this is from Loran Oils. You guys can see that. Um, I get uh, both of these oils from uh, both the tea tree and then the wintergreen oil, which is the next thing that we put in here, from Loran Oils. They also have a lemongrass oil, which is part of this mixture as well. I just happen to have some that uh, one of my friends was kind enough to uh, give me a little bottle. And it's actually the doTERRA uh, brand. So um, Sam gave me this. I will leave a link to her... Um, her website in the description below so if you are interested in getting any doTERRA oils um, you can get those from her. So it's a teaspoon of wintergreen oil, a teaspoon of tea tree oil, and I do about four drops of this wintergreen oil. I'm sorry, this lemongrass oil. So a teaspoon of tea tree, a teaspoon of wintergreen, and four to five drops of lemongrass oil. And then we make some noise. This top goes on, and we put this on a high setting for five minutes. We first plug it in. See, I told you, it's an old, it's an old blender. That button just fell off. And now we put it on blend. Five minutes. Okay. So, after everything is thoroughly mixed together, I add this to a quart jar that is partially filled up. Uh, add that to a quart jar of water, and then I'll make sure that this gets filled up just a little bit that we have remaining. Give that a nice shake, and that is ready to add to what we're going to make today in four equal parts. Okay, so for this next part, we're going to take a 10-pound bag of sugar and add it to an equal weight of water. So we mix our sugar at a 1 to 1 ratio, which is 1 part uh, water, 1 part sugar by weight. So for every pound of sugar, we add a pound of water, or vice versa. So I have our scale set up. I already have it zeroed to uh, account for the weight of the bucket. And we'll just add water until this reaches balancing point. Right there. And now we do this for as much uh, sugar as we need to make. So five gallon buckets of uh, mix are easy for us to manage right now, but next season I do plan to um, build a sugar syrup mixer to make the process a little bit faster 
uh, it'll be something that I can just set and let it mix and not have to be there watching it the entire time or manually mixing. Um, it can mix and once it's done it will kick off and then I can use the syrup as needed. But right now, five gallon buckets are just fine. So this is pretty easy now. Uh, we take this little drill and we take, hang on, I have to grab it. We take this little paddle stirrer, stirrer, and we stir. So I like getting these stirred up just a little bit to begin with and then I measure out a whole one of these per bucket. And then we'll really mix these up. So that's really about it. Um, I'm actually going to store that for a couple of days because uh, I'm waiting on some pollen patties to get in. So just to recap what we did today guys, uh, we mixed up some sugar feed at a 1 to 1 ratio by weight. So for every pound of water there's a pound of sugar. Uh, we made up some uh, homemade uh, version of Honey Bee Healthy which is an essential oils treatment with one teaspoon of tea tree oil, one teaspoon, teaspoon of wintergreen oil, and four to five drops of lemongrass oil, all mixed up for five minutes in a cup of water and then diluted into a quart container of water. Uh, we then mixed that into the four batches of uh, sugar syrup that we made up. And that's the video for today. Um, I just did want to say one more thing, and that is, I was given some advice whenever I first started beekeeping, and I meant to mention this in my last video. Um, it, this advice was given to me by a, a professional slash commercial beekeeper uh, who's been keep beekeeping for over 30 years, and he told me whenever I first started that I would get a lot of advice, and some people will give advice, most are well-intentioned, um, but some will give you advice that they portray as being the end-all be-all of the way that you should keep bees or methodologies for beekeeping. But it's important to find what works for you and do that thing. So I offer that advice to you as well because there are certain practices and principles, uh, queen rearing is a big area, that some people have a really specific methodology of beekeeping that just don't work for me. Uh, or don't work for our operation at its current stage. Um, so in listening to these videos, please don't ever take uh, our methods uh, or ad my advice as ironclad or something that you know, we're trying to superimpose on other people. Uh, find the thing that works for you and do that thing. Uh, if we can be of some help in helping you understand what we're doing or why I do a particular thing or how I do a particular thing, Please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Always happy to answer questions. Um, always like to respond to comments so long as they're positive and um, constructive. I know there are a million and a half different ways to do things in beekeeping. There are different methodologies and everybody has a thing that works for them. Um, opinions in the comments, I welcome them. Everybody has an opinion. Um, so if you're a person that wants to leave how you do something as a way that uh, we might look at doing it, I, Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, just know that I might not always get around to replying to those, especially if it's um, something that is, you know, critical or um, if it's something maybe we've already evaluated and it just doesn't work. Um, I do appreciate you guys commenting. Please do feel free to comment, but um, on things that we've kind of sussed out that work for us, uh, we may not get around to replying to those. We may save that for a video actually and get around to addressing things that people have suggested, that we've tried, that just didn't work, uh, so that you kind of understand a better uh, reasoning behind the way we do things. So, again, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. I'm supposed to say that because it's a YouTube channel. I think I might be contractually obligated to. Um, but again, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, leave a comment below. You can also follow us on Instagram. Uh, we're not really super active on Twitter, but you can follow us on Twitter or our Facebook page. 
I'll leave the links down in the description below. Thanks, guys. And uh, we make up our own version of a Honey Bee Healthy formula, which is an essential oils formula, which is one tablespoon, sorry, let me correct myself, one teaspoon of wintergreen, which is one tablespoon, which is one tablespoon, not tablespoon, it's a teaspoon, which is one teaspoon of wintergreen, one teaspoon of, what do I even use? <clears throat> let me try this again.